What is the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. So today we are taking a little bit of a break from our live style, live stream style videos where I'm on camera and I just want to check in with you guys every maybe two weeks. I like to kind of see what you guys are thinking about the game, you know. I'm enjoying certain parts of this game, but I wanted to highlight a couple of issues with this because I am working on a video that will be going back feedback-wise, so it will be going back for feedback where I want to have a couple of clips. So if you guys have any clips that you want to send me that, you know, you're not happy with or you're not enjoying or there's cases where, you know, there's games where you have like 10 interceptions or you have some weird stuff happening with collisions and stuff like that, send them my way and we are going to be doing a big video on it that will be titled what I want to see fixed and there will be a section you know of stuff that are, is bothering me and stuff that I think needs to be improved mainly the defensive AI and the defensive aggressiveness and the actual hand holding and how easy it is to defend and just nullify opponents now um, and then also there will be kind of like a roundup of what you guys are thinking because Look, lads, at the end of the day, right, this is the challenge event. We're not playing divisions, so I can have a bit of a chat and just have the, the, the gameplay on in the background. In the first game, we do uh, draw against Wales, so we did have a, mi a mismatch in the team. I genuinely just picked France because I wanted to do a Dembele player review, which I am still working on. Um, so I was picking France for that reason alone, and it kind of backfired on me. But, um, yeah, we can just chat about this and uh, have the gameplay in a bit of the background. But you'll see a lot of the issues without really focusing on it. And look, at the end of the day, right, every single video game out there that has an online uh, base or has an online aspect of the game, once there is an online aspect of the game, you are going to run into issues. You're going to run into issues with COD. You're going to run into issues with NBA. You're going to run into issues with FIFA. You're going to run into issues with Madden. You're going to run into issues with pretty much any game that's out there at the moment. You know, Forza, any of those games that are online. There is going to be bugs. There is going to be issues. There is going to be stuff that, you know, is really overpowered and isn't balanced. And I think at the moment, the biggest problem I have is that I just don't really feel like I'm in control of the games. I have to play a very specific way, which is to keep the ball moving the minute a player become, becomes within five feet of you. Because if you don't, you're going to lose the ball. It doesn't matter how skilled of a defender or how skilled your opponent is. Obviously, there is really like meta defenders in the game. I mean, if you guys check out my uh, defensive beast that you should sign or the super subs or, you know, guys that are just very, very strong in the game, like Haaland or somebody like, you know, Aubameyang or not Aubameyang, but um, Van Dijk or somebody like that or Mbappe, you're always going to have stuff that is meta, stuff that is overpowered, stuff that is slightly broken. And I mean, we see this across the board. It's a beautiful goal here with Hernandez, cheeky finish. But you see, like, you'll see it in any game that you play. I'm sure that eFootball isn't the only game that you guys play. And it doesn't matter what it is. You are going to have stuff that is frustrating when you are playing an online-based game or a game that has a huge online uh, feature or game mode or aspect to it. So... You know, I, I would consider myself a very glass half full type of guy. I don't know if that ball, just looking at the replay, I don't know was that out of, uh, out of the pitch by there, was it over the end line? But anyway, we'll take it. But at the same time, I think that, you know, when you have had a kind of what I feel was a superior product with V1.0 back with eFootball 2022, I just felt like that was a much more balanced game mode. That if I got on top of somebody and I kind of knew, okay, look, I'm an average player, but this guy might be still learning the mechanics. He might be new to the game. His team isn't as strong as mine. And I can see a pattern here which he's very, you know, he's not able to defend against me. And similarly, I mean, I've lost 5, 6, 7 nil to some guys that have just absolutely smashed me. That have just been better players that are just way better at the game than me. And that's fine. I mean, I'm not going to be world champion. I'm not trying to be as macable when I actually pick up the pad and dominate everybody. You know, I just, I'm not, I'm, that's never going to happen. You know what I mean? I want to have fun score some nice goals, try a lot of different variety in my gameplay, and, uh, you know, win, lose, or draw. Obviously, I want to win as many matches as possible, but I felt like with V1.0, you could kind of do that, you know, that even if you lost 3-2 or 2-0, the matches that you were losing were kind of, you know, they were easy. You, you could just shrug them off. You could just say, all right, lads, look, we go again. Whereas in this, I feel like 
when I lose a match in this or I draw a match um, it just feels kind of like that I'm like it, I find it hard to shake it off because I feel that the game has kind of like frustrated me um, and again I'm not going to make any apologies I think that there is a very very good core base here to the game I've gone back and played PES 2021 Master League but you'll see in this episode here right and this is a very good example of a segue in I mean this sort of stuff right you can kind of say it's just luck it's just it just happens but I just feel like games shouldn't be dictated by contextual stuff like that now let me know what you guys think of that is it just because you know you lose a game you start to complain but again similarly even when I score a goal here this is kind of frustrating for him because I don't really know what he's trying to do here that's fine it might be a bad pass and we'll take that and we'll accept it and he has to own that but at the same time you'll just see here that the player positioning of my AI, I'm controlling Mbappe, but it switches straight away and I get the ball intercepted with the AI. Now again, this is another even better example I would say here, right? Sané is down on the wing, he absolutely destroys me. I'm able to overcommit with the sprint, make an absolute balls of it, and still get back in two sprints. Now I know he does do a manual power driven shot, but still, I just feel like that there's no real risk there for me just jamming the sprint button. You know what I'm saying? There's no real risk there and all reward. Like, so I don't think that the balance is there. And again, when I get here into acres of space with Mbappe, I get the little touch and go. It's a shocking pass from Benzema. That's fair enough. You say that, but I get the ball back pretty much straight away. He's going to get the ball in here. I'm going to go out, out wide and just try and intercept him with one touch. Okay, you can say that's a bad touch from him. It's good defended by me. I don't really think it is. But watch here. This is kind of my bigger complaint here is that when I beat the man, it's just like it's so easy to kind of like collide in the game and there isn't really a flow to the game compared to what was there in v1.0 even here i absolutely destroy him for pace destroy him for trickery but then i have to turn back and watch his ai covering here right he covers out here he makes a mistake but the ai is just there for him now he does obviously get a bit unlucky that same thing happened to me in the last clip i highlighted but it's just yeah it's just it's a hard one at the moment because there is such i think there is such potential here in the game mode and when the game flows for me i do have fun i do think that you know if i could make a choice between this and pez 2021 from an actual core gameplay i still think that there is more potential in this pez 2021 i'm still enjoying the master league but it's very limited in what you can and can't do you have to play the game in a certain way and online with pez 2021 was very limited i felt like the 1v1 experience co-op obviously was very good but there is still, I think, massive potential in this. So it will be interesting to see what updates they bring to it. But yeah, I just think that there's a lot of frustrating things happening at the moment. The defensive AI, the handhold and defense, and the over-aggressive defense and style that has no risk and all reward. You can miss a tackle three times and still get the ball back, you know, and still recover quick enough. And unless you play the game that way, the meta way, you will be left behind. You know, if you simplify your gameplay and you make it that you just pack your team with really high attack or high offensive players and high defensive players where the defensive awareness and defensive de-awareness um, or de-awareness, defensive awareness are going to be very, very dominant. And yeah, that's just my thoughts on it, lads, as we do complete that event um, and try to find a bit of content to play. We'll be back with episode 30, which will be the divisions or the eFootball League. But let me know your thoughts, lads. Get in any clips you have that you want to send to me you can send to me by email or by a google drive and i can download it um or just drop a link in the channel below in the replies below let me know because i do want to collect a couple of bits and pieces to pinpoint exactly look you know we like this we don't like that you know who's enjoying the game who's not enjoying the game if you are enjoying the game why are you enjoying the game and if you're not why aren't you so it's just about getting a bit of a, a bit of a, a talking point about it and we can revisit this in a later video so yeah um as i said i still think that there is massive potential here i'm enjoying building squads i'm enjoying reviewing players i'm enjoying actually scoring goals when the game is flown but i just feel it's been held back by a lack of balancing and the AI handholdedness that you can make a lot of challenges or miss a lot of time challenges and still get rewarded for it or not get punished. That's probably a better way of putting it. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts and I will be back quite soon. Peace.